Based on your app requirements or for testing purposes, you might want to run tests in parallel and aggregate results from that. And Langchain offers out of the box something called Runnable Parallel, where you can run a single or a list of sequential chains in parallel and aggregate results from that. And for more information on what these mean and details on how they run, you might want to look at documentation of Langchain. In this video, we're going to look at how we can implement that in Langflow. So what we have is a component here which pulls in code from Langchain. And especially we're going to be looking at the runnable parallel. And we use that to bring in results from multiple chains. Those are attached to this component. And for our use case here, we are going to compare results of OpenAI embeddings combined with the OpenAI LLM model against the Cohere embeddings combined with Cohere model. And this is just an example task. You might have something you want to run in parallel and generate response for each of those. Now, what I've done is I took a PDF, I split that and then saved it into a vector database. And I'm using OpenAI embeddings in this case. And then it goes to retrieval chain, also from Langchain. This is a sequence chain. And for this particular chain, we have the OpenAI LLM as well as a prompt template available here. And what I'm saying is to take the context and if there's any question from the user, use that and also a language if that's specified. And based on that, generate a blog post for the document. Now, same thing on the other side, we are using Cohere embeddings and also Cohere LM and everything else is pretty much the same. Also, the prompt template that we're using is the same. Now, once we run the flow, what we're going to notice is that we get output from both of those sequences and it's going to be a little bit different. Now, in this particular case, this is the chain from Cohere, and I can see that in details for this chain. This is the output that the Cohere model provided to us. Same thing on the other side with the chain from OpenAI. We see that we have a different type of output available. If we have some sort of evaluation metrics to see which one performs better for our particular use case, we can compare that and then utilize that particular model. Now, again, this is something that we can expand. Instead of using two chains, we could use multiple chains and then combine the results from those and compare them all together in one go. Feel free to use this template from the Langflow store. It should be available under the name Rag Chroma. Let us know if you find this helpful.